What's up, IG? What's going on, Facebook? Hope everybody's well today. So we are live now. Uh, it is Friday. We are going to have, uh, as I said before, we're going to have every Friday a live show, Q&A, Ask Me Anything. Uh, let's have fun. Let's lighten the mood a little bit. Let's have some good times here so we will answer any questions. And I've had some questions Hey, how are you? Um, and I'm going to ask, you know, any questions, but I've had some questions that I had last week that I wanted to get to that I didn't get into. I try to take a list of some questions that I get on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and um, and then just questions from clients and patients anyway. So let's wait a moment and I'll pull up my list while everybody's do hopping on or maybe catching a replay of this. Uh, but there will be a replay for all you guys on on my YouTube. So, Dre Mob, how you doing? So he and we'll come back in. Let's add some comments here. All right. All right. So I think the last time I was talking a little bit about uh, some disc issues, and I did have some. Um, some questions on that you know but before I dive into that you know hope everybody's doing well with this uh, whole coronavirus you know there's been a lot of new things going on with with people's attitude and mentality and sometimes it's a little bit upsetting hey Ryan and you know for some people and it's really cool for others and you know but I'm gonna just say one thing about this is like use this time wisely you know that that's my best question uh, answer to all of you guys use this wisely we're all in this together we all have a, a kind of a mental choice to make we can focus on what's not working or we can just focus on what can work or learning a new skill in order to make something that's not working start to work if that makes any sense so this could be your business this could be your job this could be mentality this could be a whole lot of other issues and things going on and more specifically, I'm really talking about your body. What can you do today to make your body better for tomorrow or the next week or the next day? And things like that. So anyway, uh, if you guys have questions, as always, please feel free to message me. Let me know anything like that. Um, okay, this is popped up. Okay, we're live on there. So we will talk a little bit about, like I said, uh, disc issues that we were talking about last time. And, you know, I think I end up saying that discs do not, uh, they do heal. A lot of people think they don't heal. They do. Um, most of the time, I would say, I think it's 45 or 46% of them reabsorb 100%. And people are like, well, that's a failing score. Because if you think about it, if 45% heal or reabsorb 100%, what's happening to the other uh, 55%, right? Okay. You'd say that they're not healing. Well, that's wrong. They actually are healing. It's just that 45% of them actually heal 100%, right? So what that means for you guys and for anybody else, that means that you have the capability to heal not only 100%, but the people that don't heal 100%, the difference between symptoms and no symptoms could be a millimeter, two millimeters three millimeters, but over time, your body can reabsorb this herniation or this disc bulge. So that is just something that a lot of t people think that is, um, I'm gonna say a myth, that once you have it, you always have to have it. That's BS, guys. It's not like that. So, uh, someone else. Oh, no, different, different platform. All right. So anyway, I'm um, gonna talk a little bit about, you know, uh, switch gears a little bit. I'm gonna talk a little bit about, let's see. I really wanna talk about actually how I am in this chiropractic field. Some things that I see uh, that I, I see a lot of patients fall off with and why it's like so frustrating for me um, as a provider. One of the biggest things that as a provider that I see people fall off of is people actually never fix their problem. Once they get out of pain, 
they're done. Done. No point in coming back if you're not in pain anymore, right? Well, that's that's honestly the hardest thing that, that there is. It's to constantly tell people that they need to come back in. And honestly, I don't know if that's the best for everybody, right? I think that what people need to realize and, and we as practitioners really need to do is educate our patients and educate our people about what the difference between pain is, the way the difference injury is, and the way certain things are today. You know, and is is this injury that you're currently having gonna cause a future problem? Is this current injury that you're having right now going to make it worse? Is it gonna get better? And I think that's the hardest part to realize is that we we really just shouldn't be keeping people in our clinic all the time if they don't want to be there. What we should be doing is giving people skills and tools necessary to get out of our clinic as fast as possible so that they can live the healthiest life they can. Hey, Natty. Um, hey, was it SoCal? SoCal Solar Guy. Um, so it's really about getting people to, to really be more empowered and not stay in our clinics as much because here's the truth, guys, all of you out there, you just want to live happy, healthy, and, and literally just be out of pain. But, and, and that's just actually pretty easy. But in order for you to do that, in order for you to be out of pain, in order for you to like make sure this problem or back injury or neck injury never comes back. And I can't say never because that the likely, hey, how you doing? Um, the, the hardest thing is really just getting people out of, like to realize that pain and their problem is to- totally separate things. It's up to you guys to decide what you want. Your goals, your settings, it's up to you. Uh, I really think that's really important because most of us, I have my goals. Like I know what I want for you guys. I want you guys to be healthy. I want you guys to be happy. I want you guys to be strong as heck. Uh, I want you guys to never have this injury again. I want you to work with me so that you can do this. But that's not what everybody else wants. People just want to be out of pain. And there's so many ways to do that. And if we're talking about low back pain, we're talking about any uh, uh, um, other factors, there's really like five factors that go into healing that I call five factors. And through writing my book, I, I'm really kind of like honed in on it. Uh, it's meant to, it's really essentially the diet, the movement, there's the lifestyle, there's the stress, and there's kind of like the emotional social component to it all in touch by, by Oz massage. What's going on as, so, you know, it, there's a few, there's like five factors of healing and which one of those so if there's five factors i call them five pillars of health five pillars of reducing inflammation five pillars of whatever you want to call it if you guys are not addressing all of those five oh sorry sleep i forgot sleep um if you're not addressing all five you're going to fail you could still get better but you are um going to fail I just gotta am i taking appointments right now um okay um, so I am taking appointments, not in person. Um, I'm doing telehealth and I have a new website coming out guys. Um, I've been filming rehab programs for about two years. Um, and I finally have them up. I have somebody working on them. Hey Jenny. Um, so I don't, I'm not taking in person appointments right this second. I'm probably not going to for a little bit. Um, we'll see what happens with this whole coronavirus, my wife is also pregnant. So we are trying to uh, stay out of harm's way with all that stuff. Um, So as a result of all that, we are just doing, we'll do private telehealth with people, we'll do private coaching, we'll do, you know, online consults, whatever. Uh, Anything to help people. And that's why we're doing these live sessions to help people um, free to get them to your way. So anyway, uh, I think I lost track, but do any of you guys have any questions at all um, on anything, back pain, shoulder pain, uh, things like that? If so, just let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to just keep rambling a little bit, um, chatting a little bit. So, 
Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I've been doing uh, in addition to those five pillars that we were talking about because that's what I want to go back to. Those five pillars are important. Sleep, diet, movement or exercise, uh, stress management, and of course, lifestyle choices. I think what's the what's the easiest one to get the biggest win, right? I think that's the hardest for as a practitioner to figure out. Um, I, I, I think if, if you ask me, I think it's movement. I think movement is the easiest thing to get the biggest win, the fastest. Sometimes doing the right movement at the right time is like an instant Advil, so to speak. And you can really just get out of pain very, very, very quickly if you focus on these five pillars. But when I say focus on five pillars, a lot of people are going to be like, well, which one do I focus on? Just focus on one. You don't have to focus on 10 of them or 12 of them or you just have to, you, like they're all little like a pillar and each little pillar is made up with so many different items that can be involved in it so i would say for you just don't even think about it just start with one thing that you think you're neglecting and move forward to that or start on one thing that you're already working on and strengthen it to it's a solid pillar so if you're really eating well like just focus on eating well, but if you're not exercising, just focus on eating well for a little bit and then move forward. And then once you're like, hey, I got this eating thing down, learn that new skill and then move on to the dietary part. Because with these five factors, with these five, I guess you could say pillars of, of health and wellness and inflammation and stuff like that, that's how you're going to reduce your pain. That's how you're going to get better. That's how you're going to uh, figure out the problem. Hey, is it Robert? So I think for, for those five pillars, it's, it's just so custom for, for you. It's so custom for everybody. Um, I'm going to talk, I think my worst pillar right now being at home is eating. I just love to eat. I keep checking the fridge all the time. I don't know about you guys. What do you guys do? Um, you know, I, I just constantly cr crush the fridge, you know, and if it's not in the house, I'm, I'm okay. But, you know, I, I personally just eat a lot more than I should. Uh, but that's what a lot of people do too. So, and um, with this, with this coronavirus, I think I'm eating a little crappier than I used to too. But uh, I am sleeping well. I am eating well. I don't know. How about you, Robert? What are you, are you, uh, are you eating well? Um, so I think that, you know, we can all do a little better and I've tried to make a little better. So today, um, you know, to help jumpstart me, I just added a smoothie in, in there. And that's just one thing you guys can do is just start with one little change and get better at making that change. And that's the same thing with the coronavirus. It's the same thing with your health. That's the same thing with starting your business or continuing on with certain struggles in your life or, you know, um, doing anything with your back or your neck, you got to learn, uh, your, your level. What, what are you comfortable with? What are you not comfortable with and what can you move on to? So that's it for today, guys, you know, short and sweet, uh, talking a little bit about the five pillars. And if you have any questions, as always, let me know. Uh, I will be here as always. I got a couple messages, uh, about another appointment, but, um, so anyway, guys, um, just to finish off, I do have a new website coming out. Uh, it's going to be out there. I will put it out there. There are going to be some online courses uh, and they're going to be really affordable and really well done. The thing about what I've noticed is that there's three factors that keep people in pain. It's essentially not having a good plan. It's essentially time and money, right? Nobody wants to go to a therapist or anybody that consistently charges a lot of money. Hey, Kathy. Um, nobody wants to keep going to a therapist that con consistently costs so much money. And as a result, they cost so much money. Guess what they also do? They take away a lot of your time because you have to go to your therapist two, three times a week, right? And if you have to go two, three times a week for six, eight weeks, hey, um, you know that that's gonna not only cost a lot of time in commuting, it's gonna cost a lot of time uh, in terms of actually completing your exercises and your rehab, questions, getting caught in traffic, 
and it's going to cost money. And that's really those things. And then hopefully they're a good therapist. And if they're, you know, giving you the right plan, but you're not executing it because of time and money, you know, that's another issue as well. So um, I've worked out how to solve those problems. And one of those ways to solve those problems is a virtual course that is guided to help people. And instead of having a like a whole body fix because no nobody uh, wants to fix their whole body, they only want to fix one problem. That those problems are also often overlapping. So in order for them to get overlapping results, we initiate those um, those exercises within within those programs. And so what we'll do is we'll have like, for example, let's just say a low back course, but we're also working on legs, we're working on hips, we're working on mid back, but we're designing it around the low back. So uh, anyway, so the really, I think the wave of the future for not just, you know, not my business, but a lot of other people's business is really targeting people uh, to address those three needs, time, money, and literally a high quality program. So high quality program that can literally generate results, giving people accessibility anywhere and everywhere at the time so that time is not an issue. And then of course, solving that time issue by giving people a financially competent um, site. And I think that I've been able to figure that out. Uh, Now it's about producing more for you guys and helping you guys see what you want. So if you guys have a specific injury Uh, neck, back, shoulder, whatever it is, you let me know. I will create a course for it. I will share some information for it. Um, And like I said, I'm making them extremely available and ready to go. So that's it, guys. Um, I will chat with you guys next week. And if you have any questions between now and then, let me know. Have a great day. Kick butt. um, And stay healthy. If you have questions, always, guys. I'm here for you anytime. So see you guys next time.